These are standard cubes, 10 by 10 centimeters. There are also larger cubes, like 15 by 15 centimeters. And uh, cylinder samples that can also undergo a compression test. The essential moment is that the load must be applied uniformly to the cylinder surface. Otherwise, the test will go wrong and won't count. Uh, this plate in here has been specifically marked for cubes 10 by 10. There are diagonals marked on the plate and the cube or cylinder has adequate diagonal crosscuts too. Then they're placed in the compression machine and a line like this. So let's take a cube sample and put it on the plate and as marked. So we reached 1,028 kilonewtons. As is, concrete is wonderful and it is able to gain more and more strength in time. Like it will never stop gaining strength. But the curve exponential, sure. It will never stop gaining strength. We can state that in seven days concrete gains 80% of its strength. In 28 days approximately 100%. After 90 days it gains 10 extra percent to the required strength. So in time it keeps gaining more and more strength. Cracks can always happen, so if someone sees a crack, they're invited to show it to us. Decision whether it is dangerous or not is taken by a special organization. And there are lots of ways nowadays to remedy it. You can't live without making mistakes, so it's impossible to erect a building without defects, but it is possible to minimize them or make them less dangerous, or remove them according to technological standards. In the contemporary world, everything is possible with the help of modern technologies. Roman made this cube special for the test, to film it here. <laughs> the same result here, like before. You know, when I came to work here, the first cube I tested was Concrete Makes B80 and I took it home after the test. Crushed? Yes, I collected it and put it in a bag. And since then, I have tested so many concrete samples.